Greetings to you this day, Flagstaff, in Jesus' name, in Yeshua's name. Out here to let you know that it's time to repent, to cry out to the Lord, that you need to be set free because sin is everywhere. And there is a Savior who came to die for our sins. It doesn't matter how this city can be. What matters is that Jesus died for you. Jesus died for your sin. If you die without Jesus, you know where you're going. I don't want anyone here to go to hell or to perish. Why not go to heaven? Accept the free gift of God, which is salvation. If you don't accept salvation, it sounds like you're trusting yourselves. We're not saved by our works. We're saved by grace through faith. Not to say that we could just live however we want and continue in our sin. That goes against the Almighty God. Whatever strongholds are in this place, we need to be set free from those strongholds in Jesus' name. Whether it be rich, whether it be witchcraft, whether it be witchcraft or drunkenness or pride, you name it. It's not every day that servants of God come out here to let you know that you must repent of your sin, that you need an atonement for your sin, and that is Jesus. If you will humble yourselves, God will heal you. God will heal this land. But many have walked away from the Lord, become so distant of the Lord because of sin, because of lawlessness that abounds. Do not perish. Do not become like the people of Israel that rebelled against the Lord their God. Although Israel was rebellious, this generation has become very rebellious against God. The judgment of God is against you. The judgment of God is what you're going to face if you don't repent, if you don't give your life to Jesus. Because only Jesus can help you escape the wrath of God, the judgment of the Almighty God. Hear the one whose voice is crying out in the wilderness to let you know that only Jesus can save your soul. That Jesus paid a high price on the cross. Who was beaten, who was crucified on that cross so that you can live. But yet, many rebel against God thinking that God loves me even if I continue to sin all day. God hates your sin. God hates my sin. Before I knew Jesus, I was a sinner. A sinner on my way to hell. I was condemned. Those who don't believe are condemned. But if you believe, you'll be free from condemnation. You could be angry, you could hate God, but when you stand before God, you will not run away. You will cry out to God for mercy and forgiveness and realize that you had a chance, but instead you rejected that chance. You made fun of God, you mocked the grace of God, and you're gonna pay for it dearly. You'll pay for it because you enjoy your sin. You think it's enjoyable to be in your pleasures. There's so many things in this life that I regret. I regret all the sins I've committed, and I need Jesus. And because of Jesus, I don't need to be a sinner anymore. I could be a saint. Sinners and saints are not the same. We could try to justify ourselves through pleasure. We could justify ourselves and say, it's okay for me to be a sinner. The Bible clearly states, repent and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out. I'll continue to tell you about Jesus Christ because he loves you, died for you. I'd rather pay the price 
Even if I have to get persecuted for my faith. Persecution is real. Persecution is coming to America. And just know, when you follow Jesus, you may die. You're going to die for the faith. You may get locked up in prison for your faith in Jesus. And you cannot be ashamed. You cannot compromise. If you're one way, all the way in for Jesus, you continue all the way in. Don't back out. If you're all the way in, then don't run. Don't run for persecution. You expect to get arrested sometimes when you're preaching the gospel. When you're telling them about Jesus Christ who was crucified, died on the cross, who was buried and resurrected on the third day. For those of you who have ears, open those ears to hear the truth. That Jesus is the only one who can satisfy your soul. Jesus Christ is the only one you need. He meets your needs. He will never fail you. You can go to crack. You can go to drugs. You could go to math, you could go to crystals and all that garbage. You could go to palm readers, sorcery and all that sinful stuff that will lead you to hell and you still won't be satisfied. All of that is temporary but for a moment. When you die and you stand before God, there are so many things in life you're going to regret that you wish you could turn back to God for forgiveness. When he gave you the opportunity to be forgiven of your sin. <laughs> I come all the way from Los Angeles, California to preach to you the message. That you need a savior who is Jesus. And that you must repent of your sin. Before the condemnation comes upon you. For eternity. For that's right. Since you don't believe and you don't trust in God, you are condemned. But did you know there is a way to be free from condemnation? You could be free from the condemnation by acknowledging what Jesus did on the cross for you. You don't have to feel sorry for me because I do this. I'd rather do this and suffer for God, for Jesus. Because many souls are perishing and dying without the Lord. Think about that today. Think about that this night when you get home. Because you're not promised tomorrow. If you die tonight, where will you go? Are you going to go to the condemnation of hell? Or are you going to go to the freedom of heaven? You only have two choices. You can't choose both sides. You are in the middle of a fence. You are in the middle of a fence. And you have to make a decision in your life. And you tell me, what will you do? What will you do when you face God? We're all going to stand before God. We're all going to be accountable for how we live. When it comes to preaching about Christ and to call others to repent, that's not hate. That's not condemning others, but warning them because you love them. I love your soul. I care for your soul. That I know your soul is at stake. You can roll your eyes at me. You can do whatever you want to the messenger. You can hate the messenger, but ultimately you hate the message. You hate the message because it convicts your sin. It convicts you of your sin, actually. It makes you feel guilty. But what are you going to do when you feel guilty? Are you going to repent? Or are you going to continue to rebel and be a sinner? Because I was a sinner. I know what it's like to be condemned. I know what it's like to be stuck in my sin, enjoying my sin, 
not ever considering the consequences if I continue my rebellion. If you want freedom, it's in Jesus. Jesus can set you free from the bondage of sin. You must know only Jesus could break the chains of your bondage of sin. So please repent, City of Flagstaff. I plead with you to be free from your strongholds. May you be set free. May you be set free from those strongholds of witchcraft, drunkenness, drive, you name it. Before any of us followers of Jesus existed, there was a man named John the Baptist, named John the Baptist. Probably some of you might be Christian. Maybe you go to a church and you know who John the Baptist is. He was, he was a great man of God, John the Baptist. This man preached about repentance. He made it clear, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. That is what John the Baptist preached. Jesus also preached that. Even if I was running out of my voice, I still got, even if my voice runs out, I will still give God the glory and the honor and the praise to know that I served him, that I did my best to live my life for him, that I never wanted to be a sinner ever again, that I hate my sins so much, that I hate the wickedness of this world, this broken, fallen world that needs a savior, that needs deliverance. You can have whatever flags you want. I'm not going to stop you. But consider the consequences for your living lifestyle. Your lifestyle of living. Consider those consequences. Because you might not have another chance if you die. I could die any moment as well. And I know I'm going somewhere. I know I'm going to go somewhere. Just remember life is precious. That we have a short time to live. So we must make a decision and choose a side. Either we're going to serve God, either we serve God or we're going to serve the devil. Many out in the world are children of the devil. If you want to continue to live like the devil, that's your choice. Or do you want to live like God? Live like the Lord. Don't be a child of the devil anymore, but be a child of God. I used to be a child of the devil. If there's anyone out here who does the type of sacrifice where you sell your soul to the devil, you need to repent. I don't want you to be, I don't want you to sign a contract with the devil. Do not use your precious blood that God gave you. Do not give your blood to the devil. Do not sign a contract. Do not sign a contract with the Illuminati. They don't love you. They don't care about you. They want you to go to hell. You think God wants you to go to hell? Far from it. I don't want you in hell. On the contrary, I want you in heaven. I want you to know Jesus. Because Jesus died for you. Jesus suffered for you. You better be ready when your time comes. Because I better be ready when your time, when my time comes. We all need to be ready when our time, when our appointed time comes. We need to be ready for God. And I wonder, who has their name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? If your name is found written in the Lamb's Book of Life, you shall be with Jesus for all eternity. If your name is not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life, if your name is not found, not found in the Lamb's Book of Life, you shall perish and you shall go to the lake of fire. According to what it says in Revelation chapter 20, verse 15. And then there is also, yes, Revelation 20, 15. But also Luke 13, 3 and Luke 
13, 3, 13, 5. Luke 13, 3 and verse 5. It's all scripture, my, not my opinion. It's not my opinion, it's what scripture says. And if anyone out here, if anyone out here says that scripture is corrupt, you just blaspheme God. You spoke blasphemy against the living God by saying that the word of God, that the scriptures are corrupt, that there's a mistake. You must repent. You must repent of your blasphemy. If you don't need Jesus, you trust yourself. You're condemning yourself to hell. Wow. We're not saved by works. We're saved by grace through faith. We're not about a works-based salvation, but a grace through faith salvation. Some of you probably don't like the word works. There's nothing wrong with the word works. Works is something we do after salvation. First salvation, then works. Is this like an art piece or something? We need See, to realize. There is no <laughs> turning back. Did he lose a bet or something, man? Was... <laughs> Cry out to God today, city of Flagstaff, or you will go to hell. Go to heaven instead. So many of your demons are out there, you wicked devils. You wicked devils and demons need to repent of your abortion. And all that garbage that you think you're trying to justify yourselves with. Wicked devils, wicked demons. Come out of these people. Come out of the city. Wicked devils come out. Wicked demons come out. All that witchcraft needs to flee and drunkenness and mockery and blasphemy. You name it. We may be crazy to the world, but we give glory to our God. Jesus Christ, who died on the cross. Jesus Christ, who resurrected from the dead. Jesus Christ is coming again. You have no excuse. You heard what you heard. So now you have to make a decision in your life. What you heard. Either you receive the message that's been told, or you reject the message that you've been told. One way or another, either way, you are going to face God and stand before God to give to an account. We are all on a balance. Do we want to continue to have the weight of our sin? Or do we want to be free from the weight of our sin? Choose Jesus today. Cry out to Jesus and be covered by the precious blood of the Lamb who was slain to cover you of your sin, to take away your sin, to atone for your sin. Take heed and may God bless you all and cry out to the Lord, our Messiah, before there's still time. God bless you and may the peace of Adonai be upon you. Take care.